YouTube, what's going on? It's your boy, Coach Rob619, and I'm excited to shoot this video. I've been missing in action for a long time. Um, as you guys know, I do coach, hence the name, Coach Rob619. So my football season is officially over. My team I was coaching, we got to the uh, championship game. Unfortunately, we lost that game, but um, yeah, we had a great season. We went 91, lost in the championship, and one team that beat us, we beat that team in the playoffs to get to the championship. So great season, but enough about that. I'm about to flood you guys with a whole bunch of videos. I'm about to start putting them out. I got a lot of fragrances that um, well, I'm not gonna say a lot of fragrances that I that I got in my collection, but I got a couple of things that I've tried that I was interested in, and like I've um said before, that total uh total fragrance um raffle page that I mentioned before. I got a video about it, but um, I shot another one today. But anyway, um, I won a couple of fragrances on that page recently, which I'll be trying out in the fall. Um, hopefully I can get I got ten here in front of me, obviously. Hopefully I can wear all of this stuff. Um, being that you know I live in San Diego, man, the climate right now, it's if we in November and it's like 90 degrees a day or 85 degrees. I don't know what's going on with the weather out here, so it just won't cool down. And if we do get a day, it's like two days it'll cool down, and then it's hot again. So I don't know what's going on with our climate. Normally it's, it gets real cold, not not real cold, but the weather cools down here in October, which this year it hasn't for some reason. But anyway, these are the top 10 fragrances that I plan on wearing. Um, I wouldn't say this is a top 10 fall meaning the best out right now but this is the stuff that i'll be wearing this is what's that worked for me and a, a few of these fragrances like i said i'm trying out so to jump right into it in number 10 this is the newest acquisition to my my collection this one i did win on the fragrance page for 13 dollars you can't beat it and this is the first by killian in my collection and that's uh cruel intentions so that's what I'll be wearing or trying out this uh, fall, 2016, 2017. And this one so far, it smells good. I don't know how it performs with my skin. I've only tried it around the house, tried it before with the bed. And basically what that is, it's a, it's a fresh, woody, sweet roll scents. I'm not too fond with roll scents, but I think I can pull this one off. This is definitely a masculine rose that I plan on trying out. And it had it had a Killian signature, but it kind of got rubbed off. But for thirteen dollars, I buy Killian with the Killian signature. You can't beat it. So go buy that page if you haven't already. That was number ten. Coming in at number nine, this is another new fragrance to my collection. I purchased this one after um going to Canada. You guys that follow my page, you know I was out there. Me and Chad, Chad took me around, showed me a whole bunch of stuff in Toronto, and um, we went to I can't remember what, what mall it was, but we sampled some fragrances, and this was one of the ones that I was most impressed with. So when I got back home, I had to purchase it, and I'm not going to even try to butcher this name, but it's Serge Dutan. I'll put the description or put the name in the bottom so you guys can see that. There it goes. But this is a great fragrance. It's definitely something different than, than I'm accustomed to wearing, than I'm used to wearing. But what I love about this, this is a fresh, spicy, it's real dark. I'm not going to say fresh. It's a dark, woody, kind of boozy, dried fruit smell. This reminds me of the holidays. Um, this is something that y'all probably, probably catch me wearing around Christmas. It smells like a Christmas scent to me. So I'll definitely be wearing that this fall and winter. Number nine. Number eight. This scent, everybody knows about it. Everybody talks about it. This is a love and hate scent for me. Um, and it still is to this day. This this scent has so many different layers and characters to it. I always get something um, different every time I wear it. So when I don't know what to wear, I just want to wear something that's going to take me on a journey and take me in all kinds of different places. I usually go with this. Number eight, I'm a wash, Jumulation 25. Sometimes I, I wear this, I get a medicinal oud, which I hate. Sometimes I wear, I get a boozy, dried fruit, um, kind of plumish vibe, similar to the Serge Mouton. They have the same kind of vibe. I, I can see myself wearing this around the holidays also, but like I said, right now, I, I'm getting like the boozy, sweet, dried fruit accord, but sometimes when I spray it, I get that medicinal oud. So, I'm a wash, tribulation 25, number eight. Good juice though. But anyway, and I think I won that on the fragrance page too. I think that was another one. Um coming in at, at number ten, I think seven, number seven, everybody knows this. I don't even waste time on this one. And that's Dolce and Gabbana, the one, one of the most complimented fragrances you, you can get out there. Great. Everybody loves it. It's not offensive. You can't go wrong. You need this in your collection. Number seven. The one EDP version. Same as the EDT. I got both bottles, but 
obviously this is my newest bottle so I can I got way more juice I can use in this one so that's why I go with it coming in at number six this is one people don't talk about for some reason um, I bought this a while ago I was coming back from um, I think it was up uh, Dominican Republic when I got this one and this is Guerlain's La Homme Ideal which is another great one I think you can wear this one all season because it's light and fresh enough but what this is is a boozy cherry almond similar to um pure Hervon. they got the same kind of vibe some people even consider, um, compare this to uh one million but to me this is uh this is definitely better than one million and it's it's not as i don't want to say cloying but it's not as thick and, and heavy as pure Hervon is it's, it's, it's in between the two um they won't choke people out like one million it's not thick and cloying like pure Hervon. It's, it's more fresher but to me pure Hervon is a cherry like um tobacco this is a cherry almond so it's, it's a slight difference but definitely a great one i really like this one so this is something else i'll be grabbing the colder months so where we at we got one two three got five so we at number five here goes another um this is a youtube legend that um i didn't like this one either at first when i when i first purchased it i uh, well not purchased it but got a sample of it and on my second sample is when i fell in love with it in the cold months this is just it has this warmth on your skin um it really projects it, it lasts all day on me and it's just a real smooth um honeyed hay fragrance now if it sounds i know some of you like hey why the hell i want a hay fragrance but it smells like hay, like the same when I say hay, I mean like barnyard hay, but not not dirty animal hay. But just think of the, the smell of hay. Think of if it was drizzled with honey and slight boozy vanilla, and this is what you got. I mean, it sounds way better than I describe it. Just just get your hands on it and give it a try. Don't don't um don't don't judge it off the first the first sniff you have to really wear it give it a day or two and i guarantee you that serves the time of growing you and, and it does get compliments um it's going to be from your older ladies it's going to be from the cougars it probably won't be from the young girls but but older mature women will will appreciate this on you but the younger ones i, I doubt it the younger ones you want to go you want to go you want to stay right here you want compliments from the younger women stay right here or here that's your go-to's all right, that was number five. Now we're gonna jump in number four. And now that I've noticed, I'm getting kind of older, guys. A lot of stuff that I'm now that I'm looking at as I'm shooting this video, a lot of the fragrances in this video is kind of more mature. Like these, these aren't your go-to for 25 and under. I think an older man would really like these um, versus a younger guy. But I mean, they they still work. They still get compliments. And this is another old man phrase, I guess you could call it. Chanel Pour Monsieur. This is the perfume version. Now, this is another great one. When I wear this, is when I, I just want to be, you know, feel upscale, professional. It's masculine. This is a timeless classic fragrance that you, you can't go wrong with. Like I said, to some, this may smell like an old man fragrance, but this is this classic classic man pure gentleman in a bottle high quality juice for what you get i think it's about 80 bucks so um definitely look into this if you're looking for a more mature masculine classic scent try pour monsieur to me it's like niche quality in my opinion all right that was number five four three two and number four so we're gonna go into number three two and one now this one right here number three this is the cheapest fragrance on the list it probably don't even belong in a list with the rest of these fragrances but this is one of my newest to my collection also i've probably had this for about three months now i've been wearing it a lot and this right now is my most complimented fragrance and it only cost me twenty dollars so if you're gonna buy anything on this list this is it right here this is um english laundries arrogant this is a fresh lavender clean scent um, close, it's close to the skin, but ladies absolutely love it. This is the most compliment fragrance in this list. I wear this all the time and get nothing but compliments with it. Yeah, this is just clean. You can't beat it. it kind of, it's kind of reminiscent of Reflection Man, which I don't have on the list. Uh, you might, some of you might think Lamar Reflection Man when you wear this, but it's, it, it's much, it's much better than um, not Reflection Man. But I don't know. It may be better. I think because it's so cheap, it's throwing me off. But this is working for me. So I bought this at a Burlington Co. Factory here, San Diego, 20 bucks. Um, and right now it's beating everything I just showed you. Arrogant. Dirty English. 
coming in at number three. Number two, this one I don't wear that much because I don't have that much juice left and I absolutely love it. Always get compliments, but I don't wear it that much. So um, only when it's extremely cold and if I'm going somewhere very important, upscale, like suit, tux, tuxedo, or if I'm going to a wedding or something like that, it's either this or a vintage that I'm wearing. And that is Guerlain's Talk Imperial. I think you guys heard enough about this, but it's, it goes right back to the ideal. It's the... Um, cherry almond tobacco but this is more like a cherry vanilla creamy cherry vanilla man it smells so good it's, it's just like you, you you smell edible when you want to wear this the ladies absolutely go crazy over this one but it is expensive um like i said i don't have that much juice left so i only wear this sparingly but this is my number two tonka imperial one of my favorite scents of all time now i'm coming in at number one um, this is a scent that we all know for some reason from this house a lot of people don't talk about this fragrance I don't know why but anytime I go to Saks and even markets or anywhere like that And I um, ask the ladies that work there to recommend um, a fragrance or what I or, or if I ask them what's their favorite creed This is the fragrance that they um, always recommend it off they, they, they recommend uh, one of three it's either green eyes tweed creed Aventus, or this Original Santo guys. This is my number one for the fall winter. Um, when I wear this, pretty much always get a compliment. Absolutely love it. The women love this one. This is a cinnamon spicy lavender. And as you all know, I shot a ton of videos um, about the Creed House. And you have the um loses my mind right now. But all the individual that supposedly smells like this are the classic juke that smells like this. But to me, this has a unique freshness a unique cinnamon freshness lavender vibe that separates it like individual does smell pretty much like it but it's, it's, it's that creed that ambergris or that freshness it's something about this to me on my skin that separates it um when i wear it i get more compliments wearing this and i do with individual so i don't know but this is my number one for the fall 2016 2017 guys creed original santal absolute lady killer and that's my go-to but depending on what the ladies say, that determines what I spray. Peace, guys. I'm back. I'm coming, shooting videos. I'm about to be flooding you guys with more Coach Rod videos. Uh, so stay tuned to my channel. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe now. I'm back. Peace.